Hello friends, it's me Desiree with Clear Day. Today we're going to be playing a fun game called Name That Skyline. So you're going to see a series of images come onto your screen and I'm gonna read off some clues and you have to guess what city uh, that that skyline belongs to. Let's get started. Number one, a little over 8 million people live in this city. That means one in every 38 people in the United States call this city home. More than 800 languages are spoken in this city, making it the most linguistically diverse city in the world. Four in 10 households speak a language other than English. Oysters were so popular in this city that in the 19th century, the shells were used to pave Pearl Street. They were also used for lime, uh, for the masonry in the Trinity Church. Can you guess what city this is? It's New York City. New York, New York. All right. <clears throat> Moving on. Number two. Take a look at these pictures and try to guess what city it is. The first European to visit the area, which had been inhibited by native tribes for more than 4,000 years, was a man named Vancouver. That's George Vancouver. The renowned British explorer who stopped by in 1792 during his voyage to chart the Pacific coast in North America. It was the first major city, American city, to have a female mayor. Bertha Knight Lands held the office from 1926 to 1928 and was notable for taking a hard line against corruption. She fired the chief of police, for starters. The city hasn't had another female mayor since. This city is also home to the country's first gas station, a standard oil outpost that opened in 1907 at Holgate Street and Western Avenue. Can you guess what city this is? The answer is Seattle. The answer is Seattle, Washington. Did you know the entire central business district burned down in 1889? It's what's known as today, um, today is known as the Great Seattle Fire. It started with a woodworker who mishandled hot glue and resulted in 116 acres reduced to ash. City residents decided to rebuild atop the rubble rather than relocate, raising streets up to 22 feet in the process and using brick and steel to erect buildings instead of wood. All right, number three. Guess this skyline. All right. There's no falling back or springing ahead as it does not participate in daylight savings time. All right. This city can be translated to sheltered bay or place of peace. The famous naval station Pearl Harbor is adjacent to this city and is best known for the attacks on it to start World War II. However, it's still an active military facility now called Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam and it has a large presence in this city. What is it? Can you guess? The answer is Honolulu, Honolulu, Hawaii. All right, number four, our next city. What skyline is this? All right, the film industry ended up in this city to get away from Thomas Edison. Edison, who lived in New Jersey, held most of the country's film patents. Filmmakers fled westward to avoid Edison's intellectual property claims. In 1892, oil was discovered near what is now Dodger Stadium. By 1923, the city produced one quarter of the world's oil. 
It still sits atop the third largest oil field in the country. All right. And when this city was founded, the city's full name was El Pueblo de Nuestra Sonora Riena de los Angeles Sombre El Rio Porticula. Porticula. <laughs> if your Spanish is rusty like mine, that translates to the town of Our Lady Queen of the Angels on Porticula uh, River. All right. Do you know where this is? It's Los Angeles. Los Angeles, California. Did you know an old an oil derrick on the property of Beverly Hills High School produces about 400 barrels a day? The school earns about $300,000 a year in royalties. That's our fun fact for Los Angeles today. Moving on to number five. Number five, guess that skyline. This city officially became a city in 1896 after local businesswoman Julia Tuttle encouraged one railroad mogul to expand into the area, making this city the only major U.S. city to be founded by a woman. This city is home to the world's largest collection of Art Deco architecture. The city has more than 800 parks in total and is the only U.S. city surrounded by two national ones, Biscayne National Park and Everglades National Park. The city gets its name from one of the native tribes that lived in the region in the 1600s and 1700s, the Miami tribe. Can you guess what city this skyline belongs to? The answer is Miami, Miami, Florida. Did you know because Miami Beach is largely man-made, its beaches frequently have to be replenished with new sand? A resource some experts say is running out. A diminishing shoreline means residents are more vulnerable when big storms hit that region. All right, number six. Guess that skyline. In 1930, the Twinkie was invented in this city. All right. This city's river flows backwards. Route 66 starts in this city. You don't take the subway here, you take the L. This is the name for the city's rapid transit rail system and is an abbreviated form of L for elevated. Can you guess what city this is? The answer is Chicago. Chicago, Illinois is also known as the Windy City. Did you know that tall building construction was invented in Chicago and the city is known as the home of the skyscraper? It currently has four of the country's 10 tallest buildings. All right, next up, number seven. Guess that skyline. There's an extinct volcano within city limits. A raincoat is your best friend for at least nine months of the year. This city boasts the oldest apple tree in the Pacific Northwest. This particular apple tree is considered the matriarch of Washington State's apple industry. The 192-year-old tree still produces some fruit and is celebrated each year with a fall festival that features live music, cider pressing, tree care workshops, and a limited number of tree cuttings from the old apple tree. Can you guess the city? All right, it's in Portland. Portland, Oregon. Portland. All right, number eight. Guess that skyline. All right, this city's downtown is called Uptown. Locals have been saying it that way for at least 85 years. 
The story goes it was so named because at the time that part of the city stood on a hill. You had to go up to reach it. In the 1700s, two vital pathways crossed where Uptown now lies. One was the Great Wagon Road, built by European settlers at once stretched from Philadelphia to Georgia, and its existing set the stage its existence set the stage for a mass southward migration of colonists. In North Carolina, the route bisected a large Native American trail. Remnants of these two roads still exist in this city. Uh, where they're known as Tyron and Trade Streets. Today, their intersection is called Independent Square. Lastly, the city's metropolitan area is the largest in the United States that doesn't have a zoo. Can you guess what city we're talking about here? What city is this? It's Charlotte, Charlotte, North Carolina. Did you know the first gold rush happened in Sar Charlotte? In 1799, miners found a 17 pound chunk of gold setting off a mad digging spree. In the blink of an eye, Charlotte went from small town to expanding metropolis. Fortunes were made and lost over the following decades. Number nine, can you guess that skyline? Here you'll be surrounded by outdoor opportunities. So this city is especially great for those who love to get active. If you're big on winter sports, this is the place for you. Plenty of ski resorts are just a short drive away. It's nicknamed the Mile High City. The city has been named the baby boomer capital of America boasting a higher number of baby boomers than any other U.S. city. What city is it? The answer is Denver, Denver, Colorado. Did you know that in 1902, the police at Denver Union Station started enforcing a no kissing rule on platforms because it slowed down the trains? All right. Number 10, number 10, can you guess that skyline? This city is where ice cream, where the ice cream cone and 7-Up were invented. Those things were both invented here. All right, they were the first American city to host the Olympics and this city held the 1904 World's Fair. This city is also home to the oldest university west of the Mississippi. What city is it? The answer is St. Louis, St. Louis, Missouri. All right, moving on, number 11. Can you guess that skyline? This city leads the nation with the title of city in a forest with over 100,000 shade trees planted and distributed throughout the city. The National Forest Service has recognized this city as the most heavily forested urban area in the country, covering 47.9% of the city. Right. So this city is home to 71 streets with a variation of the word peach tree in their names. Peach tree, avenue, peach tree, plaza, etc. However, there is no peach trees in this city, nor are peach trees native to the area. The name peach tree evolved from the word pitch tree, uh, which is what the native pine trees were called because of their sticky sap. So take note the next time you listen to Sinatra's Peachtree Street duet with Rosemary Clooney or the album Peachtree Roads by Sir Elton John. <laughs> All right, the city is the only city in North America to have been destroyed as an act of war when General Sherman burnt it to the ground in November of 1864. Only 400 buildings survived the raising, but the city rebuilt itself from the ashes which is why the city symbol is the Phoenix. Can you guess what city this is? 
The answer is Atlanta, Atlanta, Georgia. Did you know that Varsity is the world's largest drive-in restaurant serving more Coca-Cola, another Atlanta creation, uh, by volume than anywhere else in the world? You can find it downtown alongside I-85 at the corner of North Avenue and Spring Street. All right, next one. Guess that skyline. The Beatles gave their last full concert at Candlestick Park on August 29th, 1966. 25,000 tickets were sold, although the park had capacity for 42,000 people. The band played 11 songs and lost money on the concert. The gold rush resulted in this city's port becoming packed with abandoned ships. With demand to build the city up, the ships were torn apart and repurposed for homes, banks, and businesses. During the Great Depression, not a single bank in this city failed. In fact, business was so good, the city constructed the Golden Gate Bridge and the Oakland Bay Bridge during the Depression. Can you guess what city this is? The answer is San Francisco. San Francisco, California. Did you know Levi Strauss invented denim jeans in San Francisco for the gold rush miners who needed durable yet comfortable clothing? All right, next one, number 13. This city was the fourth largest city in colonial America and the wealthiest. The first golf club in America was established in this city in 1787. This city's first baseball team was the Seagulls, established in 1886. The team is now called the River Dogs. This city was the frequent target of pirate attacks in its early days. In 1718, none other than Edward Teach, a.k.a. Blackbeard, attacked several ships trying to enter the harbor. He took hostages and ransomed them for a chest of medicine. Can you guess what city that is? It is Charleston, Charleston, South Carolina. Did you know in 1663, England's King Charles II awarded the Carolina Territory to eight loyal friends who had helped him regain the throne after years in exile. In 1670, the first expedition sailed across the Atlantic and established the province's first settlement, which they called Charlestown. The name would hold until after the American Revolution when victor uh, victorious colonists shortened the name to Charleston. Well, that's all for today's Name That Skyline. We'll see you next time.